linear actuator robots, differential kinematics, controllability, and algorithms for locomotion and shape morphing. Due to recent advances in the availability of high elongation linear actuators, such as the pneumatic rail actuator, designed by Hammond et al., we present control algorithms for what we will call linear actuator robots. These robots consist of a set of vertices connected by edges. Each edge is a high elongation, controllable linear actuator. Two types of constraints will also be enforced. One, that the actuators remain between maximum and minimum length bounds, and the second, that actuators do not cross. Here, a linear actuator robot composed of 108 linear actuators and 34 vertices is able to locomote. The algorithm ensures that all constraints are satisfied and chooses the motion of the linear actuators that moves the center of mass in the desired direction and also minimizes the norm of the vector composed of all length velocities. In this demonstration, we use a smaller network to follow a trajectory. At each time step of this model, the constraints are respected and the minimum norm of the length velocities is also minimized. However, this leads to a configuration from which it cannot continue. We repeat the task, this time using a controller that instead of minimizing the least norm of the velocities of the actuators, attempts to keep each actuator as close as possible to a nominal operating position. With this objective, the network is able to complete the trajectory. We also present algorithms that allow the linear actual robot to change from an initial configuration to a configuration that best approximates a target shape. We represent the target shape by a series of sample points here shown in blue. Our algorithm proceeds as follows. First we project the blue target points to the surface of the linear actuator robot. The points in red are the closest points on the linear actuator robot to each sample point. We then represent these red points in terms of barycentric coordinates of the vertices of the linear actuator robot. We then determine a descent direction, which is the direction in which we can move the vertices of the robot to minimize the distance between the red and blue points. We then take a step in that direction while respecting all constraints. We then re reproject the points and repeat the process.